The latest in Apple rumors indicates the company is looking to corner an entirely new market. Apple Insider reports a so-called ITV may be launched later this year, along with an accessory that's being called the iRing. The outlet reports a research notes publisher dramatically claims the ITV is expected to revolutionize the TV experience forever. Apple epically changing a market? No. But before we start drooling over the next iDevice, we decided to do some research first and sum it all up for you here. Starting with the ITV, which is not to be confused with the Apple TV streaming box, the ITV would be an actual TV. CNET reports it will likely be a 60-inch system and come with a tablet-like mini ITV to watch content and use other applications from somewhere else, supposedly up to 200 meters away. The predicted price falls between $1,500 and $2,500. As for the iRing, this little number is allegedly going to act as a remote control for the ITV. Essentially, the idea is to allow the user to control the TV simply by waving a hand, similar to the motion control you see with Nintendo's Wii. This is also expected to be included with the ITV at no extra cost. So, seems affordable, although that could easily change as a product develops, but a writer for Forbes questions the originality of such a product, pointing out that if Apple really wanted another game changer, it would have to offer more than just a new product. The writer suggests some link between iTunes, which would hold all shows and movies, and the TV perhaps. And the problem there, I fear, is that there are several companies bidding for exclusivity on some of that content. And when it comes to the competition, Digital Trends points out other tech companies don't require wearing anything to stream and control content, so the iRing might not be the most plausible point for Apple. The other issue is that the ring would have to be adjustable somehow, since it's hard to imagine a one-size-fits-all design that would be comfortable for the masses. And other sources suggest Apple could also fall back on a system it already uses for control, Siri. All speculation aside, though, the expected launch date is this year, so we could be finding out for ourselves soon enough. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle.